A couple of teams in the thick of the NL wildcard race go at it tonight at PNC Park in Pittsburgh as the Pittsburgh Pirates host the San Diego Padres in the first game of a three-game series. And before I get to the, my analysis and winning pick on that game, just a friendly reminder, folks, to hit that like button. It goes a long way in uh, showing your appreciation for the work, time, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video every day to keeping these free picks, uh, exact uh, free pick videos, I should say, free and not paid. Free. Everybody likes free. And uh, hit that subscribe button underneath for Wager Talk TV. If you haven't done so already, it's absolutely free to do so. There's no hidden agenda, no strings attached, and uh, you're not going to get bombarded with emails or texts just for subscribing free to our YouTube channel. And for those of you who haven't done this, and for those of you who are new, provide yourself a nice convenience by going into your YouTube settings and clicking on the alert not notification bell for Wager Talk. TV. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes, as I like to say, and that's the uh, game at hand, which is, again, the San Diego Padres, who will send um, Dylan Cease to the mound, red hot Dylan Cease, and they'll be taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates, and Bailey Falter will get to start for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and let's start with Bailey Falter. He's been shaky over his last four starts evidenced by a lofty 496 ERA, a 153 whip. And during that course of time, he only averaged 4.1 innings pitched per start. So it's not like he's given them a lot of innings, and he's certainly not shutting down the opposition by any stretch of the imagination. And the Pirates' bullpen has left a lot to be desired since the uh, All-Star break. And uh, during that course of time, the Pirates' bullpen is a 145 whip. Um, they're number 26 in Major League Baseball in home runs allowed per nine innings pitched, and number 25 out the walk ratio. So uh, Pittsburgh bullpen isn't exactly shutting down the opposition, and they're probably going to be called on for a heavy workload tonight, uh, considering the fact that Falter has uh, really not given the Pirates a lot of innings over his last four starts. Pittsburgh did have yesterday off, and that's significant, folks, because they are 4-12 and 12 this year following an off day and uh, being outscored in those 16 games by 2.7 runs per outing. So they have not fared well uh, with rest. Dylan Cease gets the start for the Padres, and like I said earlier, just absolutely red hot, dominating. Uh, I've, a lot of other descriptions we could use, but to cut to the chase, over his last four starts, Dylan uh, Cease has gone 4-0 and with a 0 0.33 ERA and averaged 6.8 innings pitch per start. And within those four starts, uh, he threw a no-hitter. So uh, that certainly helps those numbers. But having said that, only one earned run allowed over those last four starts in 27 and two-thirds innings pitched. The San Diego bullpen has been solid since the All-Star break with a 347 ERA and a 107 whip. And uh, they have a very good 4-1 to one strikeout to walk ratio during that time. So we definitely uh, have a edge when it comes to starting pitching, pitching and also an edge when it comes to bullpens in this particular matchup on Tuesday evening. And by the way, the Padres 11 and two over their last 13 games. And that includes seven and one in their last eight away. San Diego also had yesterday off and the Padres are seven and three in their last 10 on the road after a day off. So a lot of good stuff points to the San Diego Padres. As you guys well know, you'll never catch me laying minus 170, which they are right now on the money line. But I am willing to go run line on the Padres here. I'm going to take the San Diego Padres minus one and a half at money line odds and minus 105 at Pittsburgh tonight for your free play on Tuesday, August the 6th. Don't forget, folks, to visit my direct link, which is wt.buzz slash rb. Great subscriptions uh, specials going on right now. 777 will get you the NFL and college football 
in its entirety uh, that takes you through the Super Bowl and through the college football championship game. And folks, if you were with me last year, you know well how good I did. If you weren't, let me bring you up to speed. Number two at Wager Talk in terms of money earned last year, uh, combination college football and the NFL. By the way, college football finished 62 and 42, uh, which is good for 60% from uh, September 9th of last year. So really finished strong in college football. Solid NFL season as well. The combination, like I said, uh, number two overall. You can get my college football NFL combined package right now at early bird pricing of $777. That gives you the entire season. And on top of that, folks, with that subscription, uh, you're also going to be getting uh, my Major League Baseball absolutely free right through the World Series. Again, some of you don't play Major League Baseball out there, but that's okay. Maybe some of you just like to engage during the playoffs or sporadically. It's there for you to use. All in all, though, even if you don't use Major League Baseball, you're still getting a great deal on the football season at 777. And one more great special to mention is the fact that um, uh, we're given three, well, not three months now, but the rest of August, September, and October for $598. That includes all sports. And it's $299 for a 30 day package. So, folks, uh, you're going to receive right now a $275 uh, off value uh, by purchasing that package. Right now at wt.buzz/rb, you can get uh, all August, September, and October right now for $598 from your trust, Benjamin. And that's a savings of around $275. So a lot of good stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll be back tomorrow with another Major League Baseball uh, free pick in the Dodgers and Phillies game. Until then, take care and God bless, folks.